So before I start this video, I just kind of want to maybe vent a little bit or just kind of get you guys' opinion about this. Lately when I've been buying from Amazon, their shipping has been kind of horrible. I bought this laptop and we're going to be talking about it, some upgrades, reviews and all that good stuff. And when I got it, it was in a big box. I mean, nice and big and everything because it was the only thing in there. And when I got the box, it's like moving around. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, no packing, no nothing. They just put this in a big box and... I mean, this thing's been dancing around. I haven't opened it up yet, so we're kind of doing this together first time. But yeah, I mean, has anybody ever had that issue with Amazon or is it just me lately? But a lot of products I've had have had that issue. And I've actually had two in the past couple of weeks that were damaged. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, on to our video. So a guy needs a laptop. And I had a laptop and I had an Acer, Acer Nitro 5. And somebody offered me a really good deal for buying my old one. I think it was the i5-8300, yeah, with a 1050Ti, and yeah, it was a good laptop. I've had it for like three years, and it's been great, and when I'm on the go, I was able to do some light editing with it, and also some 1080p gaming at, well, now recently, it started just going to low settings, so, but it is what it is. So after selling that one, I decided to buy this one, and I paid 700 US dollars for this laptop for the Acer Nitro 5. So now I know 700 kind of seems a little steep. There are different models and everything, but that other Acer one I had, I had it for three years. I actually dropped it and it held up pretty good. Um, I've used it, exceeded the temperature recommendations. I've used that laptop, but it was still a solid laptop and I never had an issue with it. Just, yeah, solid. So decided to go with another one. So this one is the Acer Nitro 5 AN515-55-59KS 515 called a gaming laptop. And it comes with the i5 10300H, 2.5 gigahertz with a turbo boost up to 4.5 gigahertz, 1080p monitor with a refresh rate possibly of, I don't know, I think what they say, uh, 144 hertz. I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, GTX 1650 Ti, which is one of the things I was looking for because, I mean, that graphics card just cost about $200 in itself on a good day. So, I mean, hey. 1650 Ti, which is about, I think, 30% better than my 1050 Ti, but we'll talk about that. 8 gigs of DDR4, which kind of sucks, which I don't get. I mean, why are you just going to put one stick of 8 gig of DDR4 in? We'll get into that. I'm sorry. I'm getting off on a tangent over here. 256 NVMe SSD, and that's about it. So let's go ahead. Let's unbox this, and let's see what we got. So now... I'm actually going to be upgrading this because 16 gigs of RAM is ideally the way to go. Well, is the way to go. Not to mention that this is only running single channel 8 gigs of DDR RAM. And 16 gigs dual channel is a lot better. Tests have confirmed that. So uh, let's see if we can open this up. And hopefully don't drop it and destroy anything. Bingo. Box. Be gone. Hopefully that came in the camera. Well, the speaker, that sounded pretty good. Well, I will say, even though Amazon can't ship worth the crap lately, at least Acer packs this thing pretty nice. In the box. Hmm. Very interesting. Hard disk drive upgrade cable. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. And our power brick. What else we got here? Uh, some screws, which are hard disk drive upgrade school. That's actually pretty cool that they actually give you what you need to upgrade this. So we'll actually have to not throw this across the garage and keep that because we might need that one day. One thing I've always liked about Acer's power bricks is they're small. They're convenient. They don't weigh a ton. And I guess because this is not like a full super duper 2080, 3080 graphics cards. I mean, you won't need that much power, but they still can get a little toasty from time to time. So... All right, so we got that to the side. Let's get rid of this stuff. Okay, and let's separate her. Man, that thing is pretty tight. Nice. In case anybody's wondering, made by 100% recycled PET. Okay, good to know. And here's our lovely laptop, which I can honestly say, I like the look of this one a lot better than I did my old Acer Nitro 5. Let's open her up. Oh yeah, that's nice. So in the old Acer Nitro 5 that I had, it was the i5 8th gen and anything, and it just had a lot of black and red. I mean, red accents everywhere, and this only has that one red accent, so I kind of like that. 
very nice, very spiffy. So, okie doke. So now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power on, make sure she boots up, and then upgrade it. All right, laptops boot up, went through that whole rigmarole where you got to tell Windows what you want and what you don't want and all that good stuff. I think that's a Spice Girl song, tell me what you want. Anyways, but um, I went ahead, got all that stuff installed and everything. And of course, like every flipping laptop or every computer that I get that I work on, it had Norton on it. So Norton, be gone. And that's like 100 frames per second right off the back, just getting rid of that garbage over there. Uh, we got this memory right over here, Viper Gaming Viper Steel. We're gonna pop that in there. And this is PC4 2400, 3000 megahertz, which is perfect for this laptop. I know, I know, I know I'm mism mismatching memory for some of you guys saying in there, hey, it doesn't have that memory in there, but they only have one in stock and the other one's on back order. But for now, this will work, and then when the other one gets back in order, I'll be able to go ahead and match my memory, because I am OCD like that, so yeah, don't blame you guys for that, for thinking that. Next one we're going to do is a 250 gig solid state drive. Why? Because, well, I had that in stock, so 250 gigs is more than enough. This is the Mushkin Source 2, and I got this at our local computer store over here, Silver Knights PC. Great guys, definitely check them out if you haven't heard of them, and yeah, I got it for a great deal. Very happy about that, and can't wait to... Um, pop that in there and hopefully make this thing run better. So let me go ahead and finish install installing NVIDIA's drivers and we'll switch to our bench cam and go ahead and show you guys what it looks like as far as opening up and installing the memory and the solid state drive. All right, so we got our flipped upside down and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open it up. So we got all these screws over here and this is just like the, um, the older version of it, but the older version had the little panels and everything which was kind of nice because you didn't have to open this whole thing up so it is what it is but let's take out all these screws and then we'll use a pick and just kind of pry it apart and they'll give us access to where we can put in our solid state drive and upgrade our memory so now that I got that done let me go ahead and get a little pick and I like using the iFixit toolkit because they have these little picks over here and usually what we try to do without hopefully scratching this and messing this up, is we take the seam, we kind of wedge that in there, and that will actually start separating it. Don't do this with a screwdriver, guys. I tell you, don't do this with a screwdriver because you will, you will scratch it and or break it. So let's go ahead and start separating it. And that came off very, very easy very happy with that so now let's take a look and let's see what we got over here so we have our provision right over here to put our solid state drive in there awesome this is our 256 m.2 and it's actually a western digital pretty cool and this is our memory over here so the memory that they're using is some brand i don't know from china whatever so we're going to put in our viper steel so pop it in snap it in push it back and we're done that's it well as far as that so now in the box they give us this which this is to install our hard drive it says hard drive upgrade it should be solid state drive i mean you could put a hard drive in here but honestly why not put a solid state drive in there so yeah anyways uh let's take these four screws out over here all right easy and done now our solid state drive, let's go ahead and line this up right over here. Just make sure we have it in the right position. And let's see if I could bring you guys in closer. If you look right over here, this is gonna be our little tab so we can slide in our ribbon cables. Guys, I gotta tell you, be careful with these. Don't force nothing. These things break so easily and yeah, they're just, they're very fragile, to put it nicely, fragile. All right, let's pop you down. Let's put it on the hard drive. Well, let's put the solid state drive on the caddy. And the cool thing about this awesome, awesome company, well, not awesome, but the cool thing about this is they actually give you the screws for it. Now, let's go ahead and get this in where this is where it gets fun. All right, that slides in right there. Once you have it slide in, apply a little forward pressure towards the tab and bingo. There we go. All right, and that's it, and we're pretty much done with that. So let's see how this laptop holds up. So far using it, it's pretty pretty quick, pretty spiffy little guy, so. All right, pop this in, just light, easy pressure, guys. Don't go too crazy in it, just wait for snaps. The snaps doesn't mean it's breaking, it just means that it's 
sitting in place. There we go. So let's put our screws back and let's fire up. Let's do some gaming. All right, so we're in Cyberpunk. We're playing at 1080p medium settings, and our frames are jumping between, I would say, 35 to 40 frames per second. So now, the first thing I can honestly say is that the CPU is getting pretty toasty. Fans are ramped up. They're fully loud, but they're not obnoxiously loud, so I guess that's not a terrible thing. But as you can see, and let's see if we could bring you guys in. Our temperature is about 69. It occasionally keeps jumping up to 81 and a little higher. So, yeah. But our GPU temperature is actually holding pretty steady at 62 degrees Celsius. So, I don't know. It could be an issue of bad thermal paste or just dried up thermal paste. I know another laptop I had previously that the older Acer Nitro, I was able to change the thermal paste, and by changing that, that actually gave me a five degree difference on that. So maybe upgrading the thermal paste on this could result us in having better temperatures. So 72, 73, and actually our frames have actually gone up. So now we're sitting at 45, 40, so maybe our average, let's bump it up to about 40 to 45 frames per second. The graphics looks pretty decent on it. The I mean, overall, considering that we're play not playing 60 frames per second, gaming experience is actually pretty smooth. So our 1650 Ti with the CPU definitely handles it pretty well. So I don't know. I think maybe we should go ahead and just entertain the idea of changing the thermal pace. So let's get out of here and let's see if changing the thermal pace helps us out a little bit. All right, so we're back again. And now what we're doing is we're going to take this thing apart. And we're going to upgrade the thermal paste and see if that will help our temperatures on it. Now, something to keep in mind with these laptops is that they're small, so the cooling efficiency is not going to be ideal. But I have found in the past that the thermal paste that these manufacturers typically use are sometimes not applied properly, which is one issue. And number two is just cheap in quality. So using a better brand thermal paste, I mean, whatever your flavor is, I like to use Arctic and Thermal Grizzly can help and can reduce the temperatures. So one, two, we got one, two, three over here, and you got one, two, three, four over here, and there's two more on the fans. Be mindful of the cables, because the cable to power this fan up is right over here, so you don't want to go too crazy pulling on it, because these cables are delicate. They will rip, they will break, and that's definitely no bueno. So, all right, so, Pull up nice and easy. All right, we pull that off. Pull these Wi-Fi off. There's a connector over here. Let's pull this off. Now, a couple of issues that I could see with this laptop is that the thermal pads that they use are just really, I don't know, they kind of broke apart over here and everything. And this is a new laptop. And let's see if I can get this in focus. And as you can see, they kind of broke apart. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any pads for this. So we're just going to have to put it back on and hope for the best. But our main goal for this is to try some new thermal paste. And looking at it, there's not... It doesn't seem to be the best, so... All right, let's clean this up pretty good, and let's see if we could hopefully still salvage this. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bend back these tabs just very slightly. And the only reason why we want to do that is to create better mounting pressure. So let's get that one. All right, that should be more than enough. So let's go ahead and let's try to finagle this back on. I have found that not enough mounting pressure won't spread the thermal paste easily. So we're just gonna hope that that helps it just a little better. All right, so double check all your cables, make sure everything's plugged in, which we're good. Let's put it back together. Let's start her up and Let's see if we got any improvement. All right, so always the good news is it still works and it turns on. So that's even better. 
the even better news is my temperatures are a lot better, a lot more stable. So before I was hitting 82 to 88 degrees and I'm sure we were running into some thermal throttling and just even playing the game, my frames per second were just kind of dropping to 40 and low. And now we're at 45, occasionally hitting 50. And our temperatures, if we take a look at it, are hitting 66, 68, 70, 79, 69, not 79 but yeah better thermal pace and i think putting more pressure on those mounting tabs is what really made a huge difference on that and of course our gpu temperatures are sitting at the 62 degree mark so there wasn't much improvement on that maybe negligible at best let me go ahead let's get out of this game and let me give you my final thoughts on this laptop so this laptop could be built better i think they could have put more pressure on the tension brackets they could have probably used better thermal paste but then that would cost more money and probably up the price by a hundred dollars just for two simple things on that so if you're looking to buy a laptop you're not too tech savvy i don't recommend this you probably need to spend a little extra money on a laptop that was a little better built maybe asus maybe dell or something like that but considering that i've bought this laptop and you have to i mean and it's the price you pay i've had to add the memory i've had to have the solid state drive and I've also had to reapply thermal paste and kind of fix what they could have done right on it. So just something to consider. But I will say this, after doing those few things, the laptop is a lot more enjoyable. Browsing the internet is quieter now that the, the heat issue is dealt with. The extra space is good for my games. And the memory just makes a huge difference on it. So Acer Nitro 5, good laptop if you're tech savvy. If you're not tech savvy, you might want to spend a couple extra dollars and get something better. And if you're not really worried about gaming, well, then again, browsing the internet, this thing was ramping up all the time. So up for you guys to decide my opinion. You know, that's what I think. So comment down below. Let me know what you thought. What laptop do you recommend? Do you guys like the Acer Nitro? Is there a better one? I know they make the Predator, Helio, some other jazz like that. And um, Asus makes a good laptop, but I wasn't too impressed with the reviews on their tough laptops. So and this had more for the price you were getting for that one 1650 ti versus a 1650 so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not and as always we'll see what we come up with next